Hello, welcome to Miss G's Art. Today we're going to draw a dinosaur egg with a value. To start our dinosaur egg, we're going to draw a small rainbow on the top of your paper. This will be the narrow part of your egg. Then near the bottom of your paper, you're going to draw a wide smiley face. The next step, you will connect your two lines together. Or if you make your egg rounder, use a curve line. Same thing on the other side. Next, you need to decide where will your light source be. If my sun is from this side, this means my light will be brighter against the sun and will cast a shadow on the bottom. Then I need to draw my shadow of my egg. It will be an oval. I go lightly color with my pencil to help see it better. I will go for it with color. Next step is to color our egg. We use a crayon or a color pencil. I'll be showing how to do it with crayon. First I will pick a color and outline it with the with my crayon. I already colored in my shadow. The next we will darken our edges where the shadows be behind our egg. So we're going to press a little bit more pressure with a crayon. It will be only on the right side. And as we go in the, towards the middle, we're going to put less pressure on a crayon. We will create a gradient. Go from light purple, dark purple, I mean to light purple. As you are coloring your egg, you will probably leave a small highlight. That will be the brightest part of the egg where the sun is pointing. You can make an oval. You don't know how to be as big as mine. You can make yours smaller. One trick when coloring your egg is color in the same direction. Meaning, if I'm coloring this up and down, I should continue coloring up and down to give it a better quality of look. Remember, to make this, you're going to press your hand, press your crown harder to create your darker color because on the light source, the light is shining. In the back of, of your egg where the, the sun cannot see, it'll create a shadow. That light is one side bright, the other side darker. You will keep doing this until you get it to the way you like. Once you're done, we get to draw our background of our egg. So think where do you want your egg to be? Outside, inside, it's up to you where you want to design your background of your egg. This is my egg. I finished mine, but yours do not need to look exactly like mine. The background is up to you. You could have volcanoes drawing or dinosaurs walking around the back. Just remember to keep a nice dark edge. You're going to press very hard near the edge. Just be careful not to break your crown. Then as you go and turn the middle, if you want a little bit lighter, you're going to push less pressure, meaning you're not going to push as hard with your crown to color it. Then by the time you come over here, you're barely covering your egg. If you want to make your highlight more pop, you go back over and color it with a white to give it a more shiny effect on your egg. It's okay if you do not want to add white to your pop spotty egg. You can even add cracks to your egg like it's hatching, but it's up to you. Hope you have fun learning how to do value with your egg.